Guys, K Dog's kennel coming at ya this morning. Go there, Mr. Red. I'm gonna be fucking getting rid of you here before too long, Mr. Red. Welcome back to some more uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, here we have made it to Saint, uh, Saint Denis. Um, which, uh, this is kind of a, a crowded town. Um, but, uh, yeah, in the last part... Actually, I do want to go over here to the stables. I just want to see if I've got a bigger, better horse. What the freak? I bumped a cop! And now there's freaking hell to pay. What in the hell? Are you freaking... This is why I absolutely hate this this town. Because it's like, it's like infested with cops. So now I gotta go to a freaking post office. Oh, this is crap, dude. Like, seriously. This is shit. Like, absolute shit. I touched a cop on my horse trying to get around him and I get a fucking bounty on my head like seriously this is the st like this is the dumbest thing that has happened to me in this game and I mean like ever so now we got to go to in the roads so I can pay this oh my god this is so stupid this is like the dumbest thing that has ever happened to me in this in this game, if you can believe that. I mean, we've had some crazy stuff happen to us, ladies and gentlemen, but this is probably the stupidest thing that's ever happened. I absolutely hate Saint Denis because Saint Denis, I'd rather, because of that freaking reason. Alright, so this mission just, or this episode, unfortunately, is now, I don't want to say compromised, but, like, I was, what I was gonna do, and to what I'm actually gonna be able to do now, because of that stupid bounty. Unfreaking bull! I, that I, I again. I I I I don't want to keep bringing it up, but that that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. So we're gonna go. We're gonna ride into road. To pay, I'm gonna pay all the bounties I have off just to get them off my freaking head. I even have a five dollar bounty in roads. I'm actually surprised I'm even welcome in Rhodes on the account that uh, I shot the sheriff. You will receive a discount at this shop because of your high honor. Oh, okay. And then, you know, Mr. Ed, I'm going to tell you something right now. I, I'm, you know, you're done. When I get back to Saint uh, Denis, I'm going to freaking, you're, you're gone. I'm buying a new horse because you're fucking terrible. All right, quite the auspicious way to start this episode, getting hit with a wanted. Hello. Been a while since you were around this way. Well, quite the price tag. Pay all. All right, so there we go. Plus, I got almost three thousand dollars, so I get out of my way. Here we go. Yeah, I don't really want to rob wagons. I mean, that's that's the guy you can talk to if you want to rob wagons and stuff. Don't really want to do that. I mean, if if it's a mission or whatever, fine. But I'm not gonna do that in my free time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go back to Saint Denis. I'm gonna go back to the stable. Try not to hit a cop on my way. Yeah, in the last episode we finished up chapter three. Um, 
the Grays and the Braithwaites are no more. Um, actually, I think uh, the Grays we took out two episodes ago. And then uh, the Braithwaites we uh, essentially took out. We left Catherine Braithwaite alive. Um, I, I mentioned in the video yesterday, um, you know, people wonder, you know, you, you pretty much slaughter the Braithwaite family. Why leave Catherine alive? And... Uh, on account that, you know, she took Jack, you know, she had, uh, Jack and Abigail's son, Jack, or I'm sorry, John and Abigail's son, Jack, um, you know, kidnapped. Over here. Over here. I don't care, dude. Please, you gotta help me out here. Come on, please. What do you I'm want, dude? If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gonna. Please. You better not try anything funny with me, sir. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. There you go. Oh, oh thank God. You all right, oh, well, I have waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I wish I could give you some money or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. Some fat feller and his wife had a pig farm uh, northeast of Rhodes, near the border with Roanoke. Word is he's got piles of money. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what? Home robbery? Ah, uh... uh, Okay. So that you know, when you help strangers, and I'm, I, we'll get back to the briefly story here in a second, but uh, you'll get stuff like that. I just half the time I don't ever think about helping people and strangers and whatnot. But but uh, back to the uh, the briefly thing. Um, I, as I said, I mentioned in the last video about you know the the gang could have easily killed her, but the fact that they pretty much slaughtered every everyone that she loved. And set fire to the uh, to the mansion. Uh, that that itself is a fate I would say worse than death, um, because uh, yeah, I mean that's just that's just a horrifying scenario. All right, so now we're coming back into Saint Denis. Seven thirty at night. Nice, nice warm evening. Just waking up this morning, so uh, if I sound a little weird, that's why. All right, let's go into here, Mr. Ed. Shut up. You're you're going in here. Theodore Eckhart Stables. Let's see what kind of a horse we can get. Good looking horse there. Thank you very much. I know. Ooh. I like you. Oh, what are we going to name this horse? We are going to name... You know what? It's a solid black horse. We're going to name this horse Midnight. Hey, it costs more for a reason. Mm. So let's go here. And let's kind of do some... Uh, to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Now we'll just keep the saddle the same. Um, adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. I don't need a horn. Appearance. All right. A few careful trims, and this horse will look just fine. I'm not gonna have. I'm gonna have long hair. Where we go with white hair. Some grooming goes a long way. Looks nice. 
Much like Mr. Ed. Wish more folks sure. Like Alright, there we go. So we have Tennessee Walker, which is our, our first horse. Mr. Ed, who's now in the stall. And now we have Midnight. All right, midnight. Good to see you. Welcome to the, welcome aboard. Oh damn. Oh, I like I like this. I like the speed. I like where this is going. All right, so we're gonna head up. We are here uh, to find um, Angelo Bronte with, uh, which is who uh, Catherine Braithwaite uh, had her her sons give Jack to. So that's why. You know, there's already so much crap in this town. I got to make sure I don't hit a freaking cop. Otherwise, I'll be held up like there was at the start of the episode. Alright, get that waypoint off of here. Hang tight, Midnight. I'll be right back. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in nine. All right. Head to the bar. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him. I said, that's <laughs> just me. a little more for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Dude. And Hello? Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff from a scar. Okay. Thank you. Have one for yourself. Well, uh, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Well, damn, that was, uh... Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti-eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Boy, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to get Asking around Bronte in the oh, alley. I have there, midnight. Look at midnight. You're a good horse, midnight. Here. You know what, midnight? I like you. Have a oat cake. <laughs> Alright. Midnight's got some speed, that's for sure. Get through there or not? No, of course not. Why would I be able to? That would make sense. Come around. Here. Oh my God! Look how look at the speed. And let's come up here to the left. Yeah. What on earth are you doing? 
What the? I'm riding through the freaking town, man. What are you doing? What the hell? How do I get into there? What the hell? It shouldn't be this difficult, I wouldn't think. But. Absolutely hate this town. It's way too... Too much stuff is there. Like, way too much stuff. Alright, well, leaving my horse. There we go, okay. I just, it, I just couldn't get my horse in here, that's all. I was like, what the hell? Take you to him, what it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? If they're not trying to funny close. business. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh! Little... Little bitch! What a little prick! What the hell? Oh, you little... Oh, you rat bastard. Where's Midnight? That's because you're on a train, you little bastard. You unwonk... Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a pig in your ass, motherfucker. That's some straight up. I I knew there was something gonna happen, but I'm not gonna catch this. Thank you, buddy. Why, thank you, sir. You better stop right now. Hey, moron! I'm gonna find you, and I'm gonna freaking. Ooh. Bye, mister. <laughs> you all right back there, old man? Stop. God, like too much shit to go through. There's a there you are, you little prick. Get back here. Search the market for the kid. What?
<laughs> oh god. Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte? He's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. I really don't like this place. Serious? Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? beggar now watch this if you steal the money every man for himself out here hey you think you're bastard oh screw you buddy i just stole a <laughs> there, there there was a blind man that you can, um, he claims to be blind. If you try to take his money, like, he'll, like, jerk the, the hat away, but that, that wasn't him. I just, <laughs> I just stole money from a, from a, a, a good man. Uh, where are we at time? was about 23 minutes. Okay. I just wanted to see where we were at. Do this video, and then I have to uh, run to my brother-in-law so I can check on his ferrets. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park now. Good work. What now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east to land we know, far from real open country. All right, there we go. The joys of civilization. Nothing joyous about it. I got robbed. What do we got here? Thank you. What do you got? Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Oh, this is kind of cool. Uh. I love the Dreamcatcher hat. That's kind of cool.
Ooh, I like that, though. You seem the ambitious type. If you want a unique garment, you need to bring me a unique belt. Oh, you can Oh! Craft garments? Oh, I can't even buy it. What the hell? Dude, you're like a freaking douche. Right, let's see. I can't even sell you. I can sell you like meat and shit, but you're you are a no. Look out! All right, where's my horror? There's midnight. Let's go, baby girl. No, I don't need help. Get to the map so I can see what is our going to be our next. Option. Let's get that. All right, so I guess in the next episode, guys, we're gonna meet uh, Angelo Bronte himself. That's the way that's looking. So, wait, what? Looks like we got another debt collector to, uh, and then Mary Beth has a mission at, uh, Shady Bell. Alright. So, I think in the next part, guys, I think we're just gonna meet Angelo Bronte, and then we're gonna go from there. So, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you've not done so already, give this video a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel grow. And I will catch you guys with some more Red Dead Redemption in the next part.